Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought I would do something a little bit different. As you can see, my setup is a little bit different. Um, I'm sitting down at my desk. I've got my laptop right here and I've seen some, well, a lot actually, not just some. I've seen a lot of new arrivals um, on the Aritzia website. So I thought this would be a fun way to kind of check it out together. And um, so yeah, if you're interested in seeing what some of my top picks are and just kind of like, you know, browsing the new in with me um, at or from Aritzia's website, then just stay tuned because we're gonna jump right in. Okay, so a lot, I think almost possibly, almost everything has launched for fall 2022. I know that Babaton just launched their fall 22 collect 2022 collection, and I know Wilfred has their stuff up, Wilfred Free, I think even maybe TNA as well. So I thought now would be a really great time to kind of shop the new in and just see like what's what's online so <laughs> um first thing that i kind of wanted to talk about was all of the pinks like i i just know that from like reading and like watching other um trend trendy type things like trend videos and like trend reports and stuff like that this like really bright fuchsia pink that we're seeing um is gonna be a really hot trend this this coming fall i don't know if it's gonna like carry into the following seasons but it's supposed to be a really big trend so let's kind of take a look at it i think it's a babaton thing for sure i don't think that this hot fuchsia pink is gonna be really anywhere like in wilfred when i was looking through the wilfred it was kind of like more um like earth tones and kind of like kind of like westernish or like horse horse ranch vibes i guess so let me go through like babaton first and show you some of the things that i have really been liking so that grape color that i was oh my god that i loved in my last video that one was something that i wanted to talk about um it's not in the notch tank where is it Oh, it might be in here it is and this and this is the one that i have it in it's in the sculpt knit square knit cropped tank and this like grape color oh no it's sold out that was fast i'm so glad that i bought mine right away because i did think that it might sell out quickly like this color i saw it in store and it was so beautiful and i went online and bought it um because i don't think they had my size in stock but yeah i wanted to show you guys this color but i think that it's like obviously in they obviously have it in other um like what is it called styles but it's not in the one that i have particularly but what else is this i love the contour tank, tank bodysuit so the fen green is also really pretty i really love this green a lot but here it is in the grapevine really really liking that i thought it was just such a like rich warm like you know wine colored tone that's perfect for fall like when i think of fall like this and like the greens and the oranges are what i think of like fall colors for leaves <laughs> so i really liked this i am waiting for them to bring out more bottoms in this color because i wasn't crazy about this um what is it called this skirt i did see that in store i didn't really love it so i am looking for something that's in this grapevine color but maybe like a pant or another like silhouette for a skirt or something like that because i think it would look really cute as a monochromatic look um but yeah i hear i see like this really bright pink that's gonna be super hot this season so that's kind of a cool i love this monochromatic look right here i think that's so cool i might wear it but it wouldn't be on a day-to-day -day. it would probably be for something more of a special occasion type of thing um another really big trend that is supposed to be huge for this season are cargo pants so i know that 
Aritzia's got a bunch of cargo pants, obviously. So the one that I really liked was one, the TNA cargo supp or supply cargo pant. This one is so cute. I'm like really debating if I should pick it up in this like dove white color. But I think it's so pretty. Um, yeah, I just love it. And I love it. I love that it comes in different lengths. I just, I'm dying over this pant right now. It's so cute. I love this. It would look so cute with all of the birch, the light birch colored stuff that I have. Um, and then I also wanted to show you guys the Maeve pant. I wonder if they still have it. Yeah, right here. This is a super cute one especially if you're shorter because I'm only around 5'4 so it looks pretty like cropped on the model here but for me it's actually full length so if you're a petite gal like I am then this would be a really good um option and they are so like the material that this pant is made out of is really really soft and comfy um so yeah that was the other one and then one more that i wanted to talk to you guys about it was the one that i just showed in my um last aritzia video it's the greenwich pants this one's super comfy oh look they have it in spiced burgundy i wonder i'm wondering what this would look like with the grapevine color if it would match or not like kind of go together but I have it in, I think this garment dyed fatigue color and I think this is really pretty. So yeah, cargo pants are also supposed to be a really big trend this coming season. I love the Divinity Romper. I have the seven inch right here, but was it this one? Cause I know that they came out with a kick, the kick flare jumpsuit and that's super cute, but I am loving this green one right here. It's, or sorry, it's brown. It's called Rustical Brown and I am, like it's in my cart. Like I am literally debating getting this, but it's so cute. I just love this color so much. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Fen Green that I just showed you guys, um, that like the tank bodysuit was in. But yeah, I think that this outfit looks so comfy and cozy and perfect for fall. Um, what else? So I did also see some new colors for the Ghana. Let's look at the Ghana. Ghana is like the, the go-to jacket for fall, right? Like, let's see here. So this is the Ghana shirt jacket and they have a ton of colors and I just, oh, that's cute. I like that. That might actually go well with some of those fuchsia colors, maybe or possibly even like the grapevine color. I don't know. Um, so yeah, Ghana's always got cute patterns, like not patterns, but like the plaid and everything. So, oh, they don't have anything for the cropped, which is weird. Maybe that'll come out a little bit later. All right, let's take a look at some jeans. So let's look at a Goldie, of course. One of the the pairs of jeans that I was absolutely loving. Oh, I'm so glad that they restocked. So just the other day, I was taking a look at this and it was totally sold out except for maybe like the 26, 27, 28. And I was so bummed. I was thinking about getting a 26, but I think that would have been a little bit big on me, especially since it is like a baggy jean. So I'm so glad that they've restocked this, but look at it. It's so cute. And it's interesting because it says that the model is 5'4". And I mean, she's obviously wearing heels, but I think this is like a 30 inch inseam. Let's double check. 30.5 inches for the inseam. They say it's a low rise, but I think she's wearing, see, she's wearing a size 26. And I don't know her weight, obviously, or like her dimensions, but I mean, that's probably why it looks so low rise on her because honestly, guys, I've seen this on other websites, on other models, and it's not really a low rise unless you size up. So I don't know. I was, I, I think that's why I hesitated on this one. I kind of like was deciding if I should, what size I should get it in and then it freaking sold out. <laughs> but yeah. 
Um, okay, what is the other thing? So we didn't we didn't really look too much at Wilfred. Let's look at Wilfred. There was I don't know what like drew me to this so much. Let me find it. It was like a denim set. Like I don't really wear denim sets. I don't usually do denim on denim, mostly because I'm like afraid because I don't know how to do it well. And I think that every time I try to do it, it looks really weird, like either too matchy matchy or too mismatched, if you know what I mean. So I think that's why I don't do denim on denim. But I saw this and I just really like I was so drawn to it and I don't know why I can't find it. Where is it? Um, you know what? I think it was Wilfred Free. Hang on. Here it is. I just saw it. So it was this. So I think it's called the Oter shirt. And I just loved this outfit. Like, look at it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, it doesn't really seem like me. When you look at this, I don't feel like it screams me, like Ashley at all. But I was super drawn to this. And so the shirt is it's called like ocean medium blue is the wash and it's just a short sleeve like denim blouse with like puff sleeves and little contrasty buttons and then there is a matching pant to it and I think this pant is super cute um let's take a look at the pants so high-waisted wide leg jean um same exact color and for the wash and everything 30 inch inseam which might be like slightly long on me which is a little bit that sucks a little but I mean it's a super high rise is what it says I mean like look if you look at the model I think it's above her belly button um, but I just was super drawn to this and I thought I would show you guys especially because when you tuck it in like if you can see it in this picture here if you tuck it in it kind of looks like a denim jumpsuit so I think that might be why I was super drawn to it I don't think I would wear it um, open like how she has it here like I don't think I would wear it like that. I'd probably tuck in the shirt and then try to wear it as a jumpsuit. Um, and I thought that was a super cute set. So I wanted to show you guys that. Look a little bit more at um, Babaton because I know that they just launched. So seeing a lot of the sculpt knits, obviously, because that's what they're known for. And of course the contour. Um, I just feel like the Babaton stuff and the... Wilfred is like totally opposite like in terms of colors um Babaton has got like the fuchsia pinks and like this bright green right here and then on the flip side I mean they obviously have some like browns and like darker neutrals like I saw the greens and they have this like taupey color here and stuff like that and this orange is really pretty but I just noticed that Wilfred and like Wilfred Free has more of like the richer warmer tones um so yeah I mean just nothing wrong with it just totally making an observation <laughs> but yeah I think I love these I love the Babaton coats I don't necessarily need one because I don't live in a place where it gets super cold but I did find um I can't remember oh the slouch that's like an Aritzia staple right like if you live somewhere super cold I think this is a really cute jacket this cocoa sand color is beautiful or even this deep camel Ooh, I love this I think if I were to get this coat I would get it in this color but obviously I don't need it super super cute though let me know down in the comments are you more of a Babaton girl or maybe possibly a Wilfred like which what which one are you like who do you which which one do you gravitate towards um so I just noticed the contour spaghetti strap bodysuit this is so cute and it comes in grapevine I would seriously like consider picking this up because it is so pretty I just love this like this grapey whiny color it's amazing and there's a bunch of smalls left that's good what else have we got okay guys so 
This is the t-shirt that I tried on in my last Arezzo haul and it's this Babaton everyday t-shirt. It doesn't look like much, but I'm telling you, if you go and buy it, it's just the best thing ever. I don't know if I would get it in this rich mocha brown because to me it's showing up a little bit gray, but I do, I'm, con I'm definitely considering it, considering getting it in this light birch or birch color just because it's like a really good neutral to have. Um, and then, ooh, it comes in grapevine, so that's nice. Although I don't feel like it looks the same as the grapevine color that I have in the, what is it called? The other one, the Sculpt Knit. And then obviously black would be a great color to have, or white. Um, white would be super cute as well, just to have some like good basics. But I have it in, what is it? The Heather Gold Camel. This is the one that I have mine in. Oh, and I would definitely say a size down for this. I was able to fit into an extra, extra small, which is pretty unheard of for me. Let's kind of look at what the reviews say because um, I like to read reviews. Oh, wow. A lot of people say that it's actually it runs a little bit smaller, which is interesting because that's like totally opposite of what I just said um like use your judgment I guess because I thought this ran really small oh uh, sorry large so totally up to you on what size you get I guess it also depends what fit you're looking for as well like if you want it to fit tighter if you want it to be a little bit baggier it's just that the extra extra small was like loose around my waist so I don't know um, it kind of to me it kind of looked like how it fit on the model right here because it was tight for sure around my shoulders and then baggier around my midsection um, but yeah everyone's different right like everybody's got a different body type so there's that I'm really loving this like m this black skirt it's so cute I mean I don't I definitely don't need this but I just feel like during fall a black like faux leather skirt looks so good with everything like a white a white um like or like a cream colored sweater and like boots would look cute this would look good with that pink like fuchsia pink color I mean it would just go look look at this this is so cute with the stripes and or like a tonal outfit all black outfit like this I mean a black skirt you just can't really go wrong with and it's just so cute because it comes in the vegan leather um but yeah so that is pretty much everything i don't want to take up too much time on this video since it can get a little bit boring just like watching me go online shopping but those are the like some of the top picks that i had and sort of the trends that i've been hearing about in terms of what's going to be popular for fall this year um, leave a comment down below if you are a Wilfred or Babs kind of person. And yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The doggies are sleeping in the background. I don't know if you can see them too well, but Tucker is getting his cone off and stitches off tomorrow, supposedly. So fingers crossed that everything goes well and he can get his stitches off. But yeah, send them some love. They're taking a nap and I mean, they're always sleeping, so... <laughs> um, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.